R A I N W A V E. Brainwave! Hello! And welcome back to Brainwave, our final Brainwave, an English language game show brought to you through the collaboration of the Mongolian National Broadcasting Network, as well as with Mongolia's first private school, Hobby School. I'm your host, Stephen Perra, and today we have returning our honorable judge, Mr. Lee. Let's give him a round of applause. Welcome back. Okay, like I mentioned in the intro, it is our final episode, our final competition between the two champion teams of English. Welcome back, teams. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Welcome back. Okay, so we have Team Power and Team Happy Stars. Okay, so how about we just take a moment, how about you let our audience know, remind us what school you're from, as well as just quickly introduce yourselves. We'll start with Team Power. Hello, my name is Anand. I'm going to 12th school and I'm 11th grade. Hello, my name is Emil. I'm from 12th school. I study in 11th grade. Oh, uh, no, sorry. 8th <laughs> grade. <laughs> I am Shit. I go to school number 12th. My name is Isteya. I'm from 12th school and I study in 10th grade. My name is Skoir. I was team leader and I'm from 12th school. Okay, yeah. and we have our other team, Happy Stars. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's just take a moment. You can guys can introduce yourselves. Okay. Hello, my name is Hishik Bayer, and I study at 14th school, 10th grader. I'm 16 years old, and I was the team leader. Team leader. My name is Nimdoa. I go to school number 14. I'm a 10th grader, and I'm 16 years old. My name is Yikchen. I go to school number 14. Hello, my name is Lee Mishik. I'm I go to school number 40 and I'm 10th grade, 11th grade. Hello, my name is Namirsen. I go to school number 14 and I'm a 9th grader. Well, welcome back, Team Happy Stars. It's good to see you all again. Thank you. All right, like I said before, this is our final round. These two teams competed a lot against a bunch of other teams and showed off that they are, in fact, the best out of all the other teams in the four English skills of, could you guys help me out? What are the four English skills? Speaking, Speaking reading, 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 writing, writing, writing and listening. listening. Very good. So we're gonna do that one final time today through our four games, which are very similar to last time's game. So both teams should be very well acquainted, very well you guys remember, right? You should remember what we did. So that's great. All right. So why don't we get started with our first round. All right, all right. So are you guys ready for our first activity? Of course. Yes. Yes. Ready? It should be a little familiar. It's pretty much the same activity from last time. It involves a little bit of exercise and a whole lot of memorization. Do you guys remember the name of the game by any chance? Ron and very good, running dictation. The running part, of course, is the running through the cones. And the dictation is memorizing what's written over there mm -hmm. and telling it to your partner so they can write it on the board. Yeah. Yes. All right, now who will be our runner today? Okay, do you have your running shoes on, ready to go? Yeah. All right, you, oh, very good. <laughs> so why don't you head over to your position over there and who will be our writer today? I'm. Okay, sir, are you ready to write down whatever you hear? Yes. Okay, go on over to the smart board. Now, just as a reminder, when you run through the cones, make sure to say the name, the color of the ball as you run through them, right? Okay. So blue, green, orange, yellow, and pink, right? Okay, so as be with before, you will have three minutes to complete as much of the sentence as you can. You wanna make as accurate of a copy of these two sentences on this board. Okay. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. Let's count down from five. Team? Five. Four, three, two, one. Go! Three minutes is on the clock.
blue, green, orange, yellow, pink. But this year, but this year, scientists, scientists, scientists have described a have described described a okay pink yellow orange green blue two minutes on the clock just about blue green orange yellow pink describe uh, Mm okay. Pink, yellow, orange, green, blue. Blue, green, orange, yellow, pink. Describe condition. Some people. One minute on the clock. Okay. One minute. Pink, yellow, orange, green, blue. Jesus. Blue, green, orange, <laughs> yellow, pink. In which? In which? Which? Yes. Some people <coughs> unable. Some people are. Are unable, unable, able to, unable to. Pink, yellow, orange, green, blue. Ten seconds on the clock. Hurry up! Hurry up! Blue, green, orange, yellow, pink. Five. Able to. Visualize. Visualize. Time's up. Pens down. Pens down. All right, let's see what we have here. Uh, how about the writer? How about you read us what you have written? But this year, scientists have this described a condition and, and fantasia in which some people are unable, unable to. Unable to, to something. Yeah. <laughs> we may never find out. But that's OK. It looks great. And fantasia, that seems like a very fantasia. difficult word to memorize and then yeah. write. So yeah. well done on that. Let's see what Mr. Lee has to say about the sentence. Mr. Lee. Uh, so you did not complete the sentence, but what you have completed is mostly correct. Um, so for that, I have given you three points. OK. Not bad at all. All right. So Runner, why don't you go on over to the screen, and who will be our writer today? All right, head on over to your screen. And first, you know, erase the board over there. Are you ready? Yes. All right, you're ready to go? Yeah. Remember to say each of the colors you pass by as you run through the cones. Okay. Let's count down from five, audience, and then you can begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! Three minutes on the clock. Green, orange, yellow, pink. It build, build a bigger stairs. Vast underground tunnel. Vast underground, under, under, above, under, underground tunnel. Pink, yellow, orange, green, stay. blue. Blue, uh. green, Orange, yellow, pink, underground tunnel, tunnel, um, uh, hiring, 
family members as hiring you know, hiring family members as stay pink yellow orange green blue okay <laughs> blue green orange yellow pink ah as border agents and they've used border border agents and even used agents and even used pink yellow orange green blue blue green orange yellow pink and even use a catapult catapult a catapult city a catapult a catapult a catapult a t a p u l t pull to pink yellow orange green blue Blue, green, orange, yellow, pink. Two. Uh, circle. Thirty matrix. seconds on the clock. C U J I I. Circle. U. Circle. Ah, higher tech test. Higher tech. T E C H. Tech. C H. Five. F E N C. Pens. All right, happy stars. Pens down. All right, great job. Give them a round of applause. Okay. So let's see what we have here. How about our writer read us what you have written? <clears throat> it will the vast underground tunnel uh, hired family members as border agents and even usage. Uh, uh, use it uh, uh, catapult to circle men to hire a tech fence. So similarly to Team Power, I, you, they actually completed the sentence, um, but I feel like they made a couple errors. So that said, I am awarding them four points. Four points. Okay, yeah. great job. Three, four. Very, very close, very, very close. Great job, guys. You can head on over. The first, the best, Poppy School. So let's jump into our second activity, catchphrase. An activity where we have one person at the screen describing a word with different words, right? And the other people at your, on your team are going to be guessing what the word could be. Yeah. Simple, right? Okay. Yeah. So, Team Power, who will be your clue giver? All right, please don't head on over. Okay. All right, you'll have two minutes to guess as many words as you can. Good luck, Team Power. Let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one, go! What type of type of art? Sing, dance. No. Modern. Art. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, it's opposite. Clear. Dirty. 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 No. Fish. Oh, no. no. Another. One minute on the clock. It's a... Uh, 
Ah, in color. Color. Orange. Color. Blue, Another. Pink. Blue, pink, green. Yellow. Yellow. No. Red. Ah. Uh, uh, it's part of body. Finger. It's part of Lips. heat. Heat. And nose. Lips. Ah. Nose. Floral. Hairs. Uh, hairs. Uh -huh. Red. Uh, formula. A race. Cars. Ah. Race. Okay, a little less than 30 seconds uh, left. Come on, Team Power. Okay, looks like you went through all the words. All right, how, how'd you guys do? Mr. Lee, how'd they do? Um, so they got two words, and there was another one, um, gray hairs, where I think she said hair. Okay. Um, and their team didn't say gray hairs okay. together. Um, so I only... Uh, Got, gave them two points for their two words. Okay, and what were the two words that they did get? Uh, one of them was race, and the other was... Um, what was the other word? Modern. Modern? Modern, modern yeah. Modern. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a difficult one. Hard to describe, too. Very nice. Yeah. All right, give them a round of applause. <laughs> Sorry. About that. Okay, and now we got... Happy stars, it's your turn to show off how good you are at this game. How good you are at guessing and giving clues, right? Think you can do better than two points? Think so. Think so? Okay, I like that confidence. All right, so how about our clue giver? How about you head on over to your screen? All right, team, happy stars! Are you ready to go? Okay, make sure you're listening very carefully and speak very loudly, of course, right? All right, let's count down from five. Four, three, two, one. Go! Two minutes on the clock. Oh, it's a plant used for food. It's an ingredient and it's like mint tea. Like Mongolia, we say white mint. It's a food supply. English, English, please. Come on. No. It's from, uh, it's first word is like from injuries you get after injuries, like when you get accident, like after like getting hurt, you get Broken. something Broken. on your Somewhere. face that stays Car. forever, yeah. And a napkin, another word for so napkin. Ah, yeah. One minute on the clock. Oh. Oh, oh police use it to catch bad people. Gun, taser. No, to tie up their hands. Uh, handcuff. handcuff. Just the uh, last word. Cuff. 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 Yeah. It's a... Uh, you use it for, like, you want somebody to guess something? Guess something? Yes. Like, guess. Guess something? Guess something? Oh, it's eternal. Eternal infinity forever. Oh. When you buy stuff, there are. There are fries. No. Prices, sales, uh, the cost, clothes or our products. No. Uh, like five, five, four, four, happy three, year. two, one. one. Time's up. Time is up. How'd you do? How'd you do? Too bad. Not too bad? A little bad, but. A little bad, okay. I mean, it sounded pretty good. So how about you come on over here and let's listen to what Mr. Lee has to say. So they got a word in right before the time ended. Okay. Um, which gave them four words. Very impressive. The first, the best, hobby school. So our third activity, categories, involves looking at a few categories and trying to think of as many words that start with a certain letter that fit in each category, right? 
Okay. So before we pick out our letter, let's see what our categories are. So let's take a look at the brainwave screen. So we have our five categories. Animal, actor, pop singer, transport, so a type of transportation, and famous people. All right, Mr. Lee. We'll be choosing our letter today. Apparently, that right has been revoked from me. Um, we'll go with the letter T. Letter T. Remember, you'll have two minutes to write your answers, and then one minute to write your answers on the smart board. Let's count down from five. five. Go! Final answers down. Five. Pens down, pens down, pens down. Looks like you have quite a few answers down for both teams. Very good, very, very good. Now, as you know, it's time for one person from each team to go over to the smart board and write down their answers. Now, remember, you will have one minute, just one minute to write as many of them down as you can. Now, also remember not to add any additional words to your lists. That's done, right? Yeah. After you finish, give your lists to our judge, Mr. Lee, so he could compare, okay? Uh -huh. All right, so who will be our writers? Raise your hand for me. All right, how about you head on over to position? Happy stars are ready, just hold on. All right, Power, you ready? Yeah. All right, audience. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Less than 30 seconds, teens. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, pens down, pens down, pens down. <laughs> pens down. Okay, don't forget to give your list to Mr. Lee. Okay, so how about Team Happy Stars? How about you read off your list for us? Um, Tiger, Turtle, Tom, Hank, Tom, Cruz, um, Cruz, Tina, Faye, Tim, Allen, Tom, 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 I don't know, Holland, Taylor Swift, Trolley, Bus, Train, uh, Tony, Handel, Handel, um, Tina Turner, Taylor Hill. And what was the last one? Taylor Hill. Taylor Hill. Thank you so much. Okay, and Team Power, what did you have? Uh, animal is tiger, tortoise, turtle, and pop singer is T.O.P. Transport is train, taxi, truck, trombone, uh, tram. Uh, famous people is Tyra Banks, Thomas Edison, Theresa May, Tian, Tian, Tihyeon. Wow, okay. There's quite a few answers on their famous people in transport. So both teams, it seems like you excelled more in one category than the other. You did better. For example, Happy Stars, you did very well with actors, and you guys not so much. But you did amazing with transport, and Happy Stars not so much. So that's a good balance, right? Very well done. So Mr. Lee's just calculating our scores here, and we'll see how well we're doing for our final round, the question round, right? Mr. Lee, are you ready? Yes. All right. Tell us the news. All right. So uh, it was really close um, between the ones that both teams had. Uh, 
Team Power got 10 unique ones. Very nice. So 10 points to them. And Team Happy Stars got nine unique words uh, that they managed to write down. So nine points to them. Um, so that brings our total to 15 points for Team Power. 15 points. And Happy Stars, where are they at? Um, they're still barely holding on to the lead with 17 points. 17. So my math is terrible, Mr. Lee. What's the difference here now? Two points. Just two points. So this last round is going to be extremely important to decide who our victorious team, our masters of English are today. Are you guys ready? Are you excited, yeah. nervous? Yeah. OK. All right, so let's jump in to our final round and perhaps the most important round. You guys are only two points away from each other, okay? So this is super, super important. Now, we are going to ask six questions today, each worth two points, but we're going to do it differently than before. Our team leaders will not be alone today. You will not be alone. We have five people on each team, right? So what we are going to do is, for each question, one person from each team will take a turn to answer it. So we'll have our two people at the end go first, and then second, third, fourth, and then yeah. last, our team leaders. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. OK. So remember, our team leaders will go last with question number five. But what about question number six? Um. Well, none of you will be answering that. None of you at the tables, uh -huh. anyway. We're going to leave it to the audience to answer question number six. How do you feel about that? Are you ready for that? Yes. yes? OK. Make sure you pay attention then. So it may come to your team, your audience, yeah. people from your school, right? Yeah. yeah. To save the day. All right. Are we ready? Yes. yes. OK. So how about we have the first person who will be answering the question, come over to the buzzer. OK, let's take a look at our first question. How many hairs does the average person have on their head? Is it approximately 25,000, B, approximately 125,000, or C, approximately 1,125,000 hairs? <laughs> C, is it 1,125,000? C is incorrect. <laughs> incorrect, guys. Incorrect. 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 Oh. incorrect. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Clapping at the wrong thing. OK, so what do you guys think? B. B, 125,000? 125,000 is correct. Very nice. <laughs> All right, question number two. Are we in position? How many bones make up our whole skeleton? Is it A, 206, B, 306, or C, 406? <laughs> Happy stars. A. A, 206, Mr. Lee. 206 is correct. Very nice. You were ready to go. Over 100 of those are in our feet and hands. What type? of blood cells help our bodies to fight infection? Is it A, the white blood cells, B, the red blood cells, or is it C, both red and white blood cells? <laughs> Remember to wait. A, is it white blood cells? White blood cells is correct. That's right. <laughs> Approximately, how many times does your heart beat every 24 hours? Is it A, 1,000 times, B, 10,000 times, or C, 100,000 times? I think both teams buzzed in early there, but team power was a little bit okay. quicker. Go ahead, power. B is incorrect. It's not 10,000 times. What do you guys think? C. C, 100,000 times. C is correct. That is a lot of heartbeats in a day. Yep. Any fun facts for that one, Mr. Lee? <laughs> uh, everybody's resting heartbeat is different. Um, younger people tend to have faster heartbeats, and as you get older, your heartbeat tends to slow down. Oh, OK. Until it stops, <laughs> yes. which is the sad fact. 
<laughs> okay. Number five. This is our team leaders now. Are our team leaders in position? Team leaders? Team leaders? Excellent. Your liver is the largest solid organ and is extremely important for your well-being. How many different functions does your liver perform to keep you fit and healthy? Is it five functions? Is it B, 50? Or is it C, 500? <clears throat> yes, team power. Uh, B is incorrect. Not 50. <laughs> what do you think, happy stars? <laughs> C. C? C is correct. 500 functions. All right, Mr. Lee, how about you name all 500 functions for us? Uh, well, well, I'm not going to do that, but two of our most important functions for our liver are to break food down and also to remove waste products from your blood. That's only two, Mr. Lee. We're, we need 498 more. <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> if we had more time. If we had more time. That's your excuse. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Very well done. All right, so we have one more question left. Question number six. You both teams will not be answering this. The audience will be answering it. All right, audience? All right, so remember, I have to say all of the answers first, and then you will raise your hand, okay? Let's do question number six. The taste buds on your tongue detect five different tastes. Salty, sweet, bitter, sour, and umami. How many taste buds do you have on your tongue? Is it A, about 5,000, B, about 50,000, or C, about 500,000 taste buds? Raise your hand when you're ready. Up. Yes, sir. I have a microphone for you. Answer B. Answer B. What do you think? B is incorrect. Not correct. All right, so we get someone from the happy stars. All right, I'm coming up. I'm coming up. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, the answer is C. C. C is also incorrect. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> of course someone raises their hand here. So the only answer left is A. Um, so I'm Mr. Lee gets the point. Congratulations, yes. <laughs> I'll Mr. Take Lee. Those. Mr. Lee, our big winner today. <laughs> Okay. All right, audience, you did your best. It's not easy. Okay, Mr. Lee, you got a fun fact for us about taste buds? Yeah, humans tend to average about 2,000 to 8,000 taste buds on their tongue. Wow, so some people really do not get many. Yeah. A little unfair. Okay, fair enough. All right. Let's, let's first tell them how many points they got for this round. Uh, so in this round, Team Happy Stars answered four questions correctly for a total of eight points. Right. And Team Power got one question for a total of two points. For a total of two points. All right, so this will give us a clear winner, I imagine, right? Yes. All right, so before we hear the final verdict, I just want to give one more round of applause and a thank you to both teams for coming out and showing off your English skills. You did an amazing, an amazing, an amazing job. This is not an easy game. And also, I think we should also throw out a thank you to your teachers, your English teachers, because without them, you would not be here. So let's give a round of applause for our English teachers. Thank you so much. And thank you to our teams and audience. Thank you so, so, so much. Okay, so for the moment we've been waiting for, for a whole two minutes, <laughs> Mr. Lee, what is the final verdict? All right, so the final score, uh, Team Power with 17 points, and Team Happy Stars is our winner with 25 points. 25, wow! <laughs> Woo! Congratulations, Happy Stars. It seems as though that final round really brought home the victory, wouldn't you agree? Those questions really did decide the game today. But I have to say, Team Power, you did an amazing job. You really killed it with the categories and the running dictation. You should be very proud of your abilities. I am very proud, too. Thank you so much.
from hobby school, official and dean of the middle school and secondary and high school, Mr. Lauga, please come on out. Let's give him a round of applause. Hobby school, man. I'm an English teacher. Angus is boy of the sea, he dig, source chara, source chata, not that dimchik, the house there to win the solution with me, Basnik, Chot Urk, with me Urka, Harut Strini, the magic with Ultra Joki, Zangat in Shatrach or Sohoir Bagihanda, Bottle, Shagin Tegar Tosi, Hoyer Torrent, Shatrachson, Power Bag, Arroyer Tos was in Power Baggy, Kshutik, Achotauri, that hit Shagin Tegar Tosia. За багийн гишүүдэд бид нэр оролцсон талархаа сертификат Монс өдрөр хөвлийн компаниас гаргасан энэ сурагчийн англи тойл өвчгийг дурсгаж байгаа юм уу нэлээд явна уу Happy stars. I think that I will be a gay sort of thing to sort of song who will steal him to go out and the bagging shoe button in the kitchen. Now, the congratulations. <laughs> so, thank you so much, Mr. Lauka, for coming out and congratulating our two amazing teams. All right, let's give him one more round of applause. Of course. <laughs> All right. So, as I said before, this was our final. We have our champions of English. Happy stars. Congratulations again. Also, very close, very, very close, Team Power, who is also really a master of English. You guys did amazing work. Give him a round of applause, too. Also, our judge, Mr. Lee. Thank you so much for providing your expertise of English and really teasing out all the fine details that the job of judging requires. So thank you so much to him. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Hobby School, as well as the Mongolian National Broadcasting Network for making this show possible. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Let's go one more round of applause. Let's all. Say goodbye and we'll see you next time. <laughs>